What's up guys? It is 4.15 on Thursday and we are heading to New Hampshire for the weekend. We're picking up <clears throat> our rental car. Not sure what we're getting. Probably that but, Kia. Uh, probably that Kia right there. We got a little one because we're going five hours away and we want to be good on gas. So we'll see what we got in a second. <laughs> Options are endless. We are riding in style, guys. Check it out. Heading back to the house, we gotta grab our stuff and pick up the little bleaker, bleaker poopsters. And you like how you have the sugar mama driving around? Yeah, my sugar mama. My sugar mama. She begged me to drive, so I let her drive. I did. <laughs> so we're uh, heading home, and uh, what time is it now? It's 4.45. Uh, we have everything packed, so we should be able to just hit the road. And we're gonna stop and get something to eat, and we will be off. So we just left the house, and Yami ran into GNC. She wanted to grab a couple combat bars and protein bars for the trip. Uh, and then we gotta make a couple more pit stops, um, probably at CVS to get couple monsters, maybe some energy drinks, and then we ordered food to pick up, so we're gonna stop, grab the food, and then be on our way. So it is 5.35 right now. Probably won't end up getting out of the city till probably 6.15ish, 6.30. Probably not a whole nother hour. So that's what we're doing now. It's just kind of like the little stuff before we actually get on the road. They probably have to get gas too. We have a quarter of a tank. So with that being said, we'll catch you guys in a minute. What's going on out there? Huh? She's so little. at CVS grabbing a couple monsters. I think Yami is eyeing the Starbucks Can you help me in a iced coffee. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Neither of us have hands because she brought in bleaker. Are these on sale? No. I think this is good though. I don't know. <laughs> I've never had it. And these aren't on sale so but they're usually like two for four. But it's all good. Alright. So yeah, we're just gonna go grab food. Can we get away? It's a little weird. We just grabbed the food. It is right there and it smells so good. So good. I can't even. <laughs> uh, she is going to weigh everything out. We literally have this scale here. I don't know how accurate it's going to be on our lap. Mm -hmm. Well, I'd put it like on the floor or something. But, uh, and then I'm just going to eat. I'm not going to measure it. Because okay, I've uh, had this in my fitness pal from back. So I'll just copy it to today. And uh, I got the same thing. And that's that. So we will be on the road shortly. And we'll catch you guys later. Still in the city. 6.35. Uh, we got gas, we got our food. Oh, we got our scope. That's what we got. got our monsters. We got our coffee. We got and everything. We're finally on our way. We're about to get on the highway, which should be fun. Because there's a lot of traffic. And I don't feel like dealing with anybody's shit right now. <laughs> Drink your monster. I'm gonna drink my monster while merging on the highway. Guys, 
we made it to Massachusetts. We're at the Charlton Plaza right now. And I wanted to take a second and show you guys how to stretch out your hip flexor a little more thoroughly than a lot of you might know. Um, so to stretch out your hip flexor, and Yami ran inside and I'm getting some funny looks. So I'm do it, doing this on the back of the car. That's why I'm red and you have the brake lights here. But, um, so hip flexors. Hopefully you can hear me as well. So a lot of people know how to stretch out the hip flexor with stepping back and extending the hip and just kind of getting that extension through the hip. But what I want to show you guys is instead of just, um, I know you can't really see me, but just listen. Um, instead of just extending the hip like so, what you can do is in addition, extend that hip and then open up a little bit. All right, so extend the hip, you have that nice, let's see if you can see, good, right there. So you have the hip extension, you're stretching out this hip flex right here, then you're twisting open to that, into that open hip, and then really getting that nice and deep stretch. What's interesting is that your hip flexor actually inserts in your lower back, so if you get any twisting in that lower back, um, it's actually gonna stretch that out um, a little bit extra. So with that being said, with it being in your lower back, going through different planes of motion can help you stretch it out a little more thoroughly. So here, again, we're gonna be in that split stance, extending back, coming back, and then you can even reach that hand over and lean to the side. So you can see me straight on, coming down, leaning to the side, getting that extension through, or that lateral flexion through that um, lumbar spine, and stretching that hip flexor out a little bit more. So other side as well, boom, extend that hip back a little bit, open up, open up, open up, really make it dynamic. So don't just go to that spot and hold, but go, push into the stretch, relax. Push into the stretch, relax. Push into the stretch, relax. Same thing, so extend, reach over, down, reach over. You'll definitely feel that stretch in the hip flexor quite a bit more. Uh, so give that a shot, not just when you're traveling, but also, you know, pre-workout. It's also good. And uh, so I think we're about two hours away from home. And we will check in with you guys shortly. That's really good. Really? That's really good. Try that bitch. <laughs> this is my road. That's right. It is a what? Back road if you've ever seen a back road. Literally in the middle of nowhere. Mm -hmm. That's the best way to describe it. We're here! And this is my casa. We made it. Final time of arrival, 12, 11, 15 minutes, 15 minutes. a.m. Morning guys, we are at Dunkin' Donuts getting coffee and it is freezing in New Hampshire. Well, Some my coffees. So it is cold here guys. Like, on another level cold. And I don't know how I feel about it. Because it's literally probably 30 degrees colder than in New York. So, we're like jeans and long sleeves and more clothes than I want to be wearing right now. Got my little brother from school. So I have to get in the car. Is it not open? It's not open. Hi! Do you have room back there? Oh my God. What's up? Not much. What's up? 
How you doing? Good. Want to say hi? <laughs> Anything else to say? No. No? <laughs> Man, a few words. So we are heading back home, and I'm not getting my hair cut. I think she's gonna yummy. I'm gonna have her tighten up my just around my ears, my sideburns, my neck. But, uh, so that's that. Uh, we'll catch you guys later. This is Pierre. Hello. My cousin. Hello. Looking quite dapper. Yeah, look like I'm going to a funeral. <laughs> but you're going to a wedding. Yes. And this is Sarah. This wonderful Hello. wife. How are you doing, Sarah? Good. Good. We are getting ready to head to the wedding. Yeah, I'm still getting ready. And it's like what? An hour and 40 minutes away? I think. Hour and 30 minutes away? Hour and 30 minutes away. So we will catch up with you guys later. On the way to the wedding. On the road again. Can't wait to be back on the road again. You've been on the road a lot. We've, we've been on the road a lot. My back's hurting. Mine's you. But about to hop into this. Just having a combat bar. Yum yum. Yeah, Sweat protein's already really high, which is awesome. Carbs are a little lower because I know I'm gonna have a ton of mashed potatoes. And we'll um, eat dinner. So uh about to dive into that. I think we still have about half an hour left. So we get there. People, we're at a wedding, and there's, it doesn't go more than that? That's an alpaca. <laughs> we're gonna go check them out now. <laughs> we're at the petting zoo, and a wedding, which is pretty sweet. Billy here, and then we got Billy there, and then we got Billy there. Hi, Billy's. Billy's. Alpacas. Leo. Hey, you. Leo Milo. Leo. <laughs> Whoa! Little billies! Mini billies! Hi! Hi, little guy! I can't reach you. So we're at this place called Hobby Lobby. Apparently they don't have it in New York. Um, Yami was online before we came this weekend and saw that there was, so, is it a blog planner? It's a life planner. It's a life, a life planner. And uh, they don't have these in New York, so she wanted to make a trip here. Uh, so we're here in Manchester, which is like 40 minutes away from my house, looking for said planner. So is this picture right? <laughs> is this the right picture? <laughs> in the hobby. Oh great. Now we gotta green screen it in like Cabo or something. Saw the heart. Oh. This Think we found it? This is it. This is what we came all the way from New York for. So. I'm not gonna lie, seeing all of this Christmas stuff is kind of freaking me out. It's literally everywhere. Freaking you out? It's freaking me out. Hardly. It's halfway through October, and we have 
over two months to go. And look at all of it. It's everywhere. Yeah. Hi. Back home now um, from our shopping spree. After Hobby Lobby, we went to Sam's Club. Sam's Club picked up some. Pick up some chicken, some bulk chicken to take back to New York since it's a pain in the ass to carry this stuff. And it was really cheap at Sam's Club. And then um, after that, we went to, where'd we go? Oh, well, I mean, family Dollar. Family Dollar. Uh, to, I don't know what we were really, really looking for. We just left. Um, oh, yeah, my mom was looking for candy. And then we went to Hannaford to grab, we ended up getting big jars of fluff and cookie butter, essentials basically. And then now we're back home. So we are eating our really first real meal real meal of the day. I have 150 grams of Trader Joe's steamable sprouted um, jasmine rice, seven ounces of smoked chicken breast, and then some broccoli. I've got 140 grams of rice, 5.5 ounces of chicken, and a serving of broccoli. So, we are going to eat, and then we are going to a UNH hockey game. And then I think tonight, if the rain holds off, we're going to have a bonfire. guys so just left the game getting back in the car here unfortunately they lost the last 40 seconds the last 40 seconds but uh it was still fun it's so cold it's freezing here it's on another level it's, i think it's what 30 34 degrees oh even colder than new york but we're headed home now um, I think we're gonna have a bonfire. I think my cousin's gonna come over, Pierre. Pierre. And uh, just kind of hang out, enjoy New Hampshire, and uh, what it has to offer. I think I can get out there. I'm not sure. Yeah. There's snow happening. There's snow where? Where is this? Where does she live? So we will uh, catch you guys later. What's up, guys? It is, what's today? Sunday. Sunday today. And uh, yeah, we are heading to the Kittery Outlets. We're about 45 minutes away. We're gonna go to Lululemon, see if we can find anything worth having, because there are no outlets in New York. Uh, yeah, last night, my cousin just came over. We didn't end up having a fire, it was way too cold. So, uh, we just hung out, spent some quality time together. <laughs> it was fun. Um, had a few beers. It was just a good night to catch up with him. I haven't seen him in a little while. Uh, sorry we haven't vlogged very much. It's been just kind of hanging out and chilling. You know, it's nice to get out of the city and not have to do anything. So, 100%. <laughs> um, yeah, we're, we're doing so much though. We're just heading out now. And uh, I guess we'll just catch you guys later. Here we go. Perfect, thank you. So, 
It's 1 o'clock, 1.15, and I haven't eaten anything yet. And I need lots of food. And so we stopped at McDonald's. Not a huge fan of McDonald's. I don't even know, don't even know the last time I had it. Can't believe um, But me. But. I had. Yami yeah, had McDonald's on the way up. Because I had to fit my macros. And I was very, very surprised at what she got. She got a chicken sandwich. Grilled artisan chicken sandwich. And the breakdown is actually really, really good. Um, if you're in a bind. Even if you're not in a bind, you can still Yeah, and if you want McDonald's. Bit it, mostly. So I got two sandwiches. For both of them, uh, there's 12 fat, 86 carbs, and 66 protein. For both? For both of them. So for one is six, six fat? 30, yep. 6, 40, 43. 6 fat, 43 carbs, and 33 protein. For one of them. Pretty good. Um, and we're going to Texas Roadhouse tonight for dinner with the family. So I figured this will probably be what I eat now and then just literally go to town at Texas Roadhouse. No, I'm good. Alright, you can follow me. Hmm, we're a funny color. What? We're a funny color. Oh, we're a funny color. You're so cute. Hey, where do you want to sit? Down there? So we're at Texas Roadhouse now with uh, my cousins. That's Brooke. She goes to UNH. And her brother, Bud. He lives in Florida, but he's visiting for the weekend. Just happened to be the same weekend we're here. So we're at here waiting for my aunt and uncle to uh, have a little dinner with everybody. Mom and dad can't make it, so it's just uh, like the extended family and yeah. I'm not family. You are, but like, not my immediate family. Just you know what I mean. So, uh, we'll get you guys later. Excuse me. Excuse me. Ten ounce ribeye. What'd you get? No. What'd you get? <laughs> but I, it was on the side, so it's fine. What'd you get? No, I can't. <laughs> So we're on our way back to New York City. It is, what time is it? 12. Noon. It is noon right now. And uh, it's freezing out again. We're standing outside doing this, but we are stopping to get some food before we get on the highway. Tradition, we do this every time we come to New York. This place is so, right here. so good for coffee and donuts and breakfast sandwiches. So we're gonna do that. And I think I decided I am going to do a full day of eating while traveling and while on, re on a reverse diet. So, oh, I'm gonna terrible. make make it happen and hit everything on point. So what I ended up getting was something called the barnyard. It's a sausage. It's egg and cheese with all three meats on there. So it looks like bacon, ham, and sausage, and a coffee. So I'm gonna have to figure this out in my fitness. I'll probably just add a sausage, egg, and cheese on a sesame bagel, and then put in slice of ham and some bacon and then just a little bit of milk in this coffee and yeah and two donuts <laughs> can't forget the donuts stop number two it is just past 1 30 and grab some more food um, we stopped at a rest stop and we got fresh city so there's that what we ended up getting was a Korean barbecue rice bowl. She got her sauce on the side, right there. I got mine right on it. Um, and it looks absolutely delicious. So I've had like no protein today. And I'll just show you guys this. We are eating now. <clears throat> Yami actually just weighed out everything on the scale. Everything. And so I'm kind of taking some, uh, I want to let you guys know what the macros were in this. I got steak instead of chicken, like she did, but I also added um, the chicken I just showed you. Two tenders, which is about four ounces, which she weighed out. And the total macros for this, I added it all, all in separately because um, I couldn't find it in my fitness pal, the actual bowl I had. So, roughly 175 to 200 grams of brown rice. I put three ounces of steak, 
four ounces of the chicken I added in, and then two tablespoons of the Korean barbecue sauce that's on it. Um, the veggies, I usually don't count too much of them, uh, just because they're, they really don't contain a whole lot of calories. So, total macros in this bowl are 60 carbs, 17 fat, and 64 protein. So pretty good breakdown for that. I'm happy with the protein I'm getting. Um, and then we always have more of that chicken if I need more. So yeah, that's that. Um, it can be done if you're traveling. You can just gotta plan it out. Absolutely. That's all you gotta do, plan it out. And take some time. People get like frustrated and they're like, oh, I just wanna get whatever. And then um, they lose it. But they lose it. Um, take some time, it. check out the menu, and uh, make it work. Make it work. So, to make sure I don't have to just have a protein shake tonight, I'm gonna have two more of these. Just eat them, snack them. <laughs> so I'm gonna figure another four ounces of chicken, which should be pretty accurate. It is 7.45 and we just got home for the second time. <laughs> we got home and we dropped everything off and then we went to Nike, the clearance store, and looked around for some stuff. Didn't find much of anything really. Can you cut up me? Um, I had some shoes and usually we get extreme sizing, both of us, um, because I'm above a 12 and she's above a 10. I'm a 10. She's I'm, not, a I'm not a big part. Just, well, she's yeah. a 10. <laughs> and at the clearance store, anything above those sizes, you get an extra 30% off. But for some reason, the sizes went up to 13 and 11 for men and women. So I ended up not getting shoes, but I did get um, just some hyper cool leggings. I like this color. And instead of 55 bucks, they were 20. So can't really beat that. Figured I'd grab them while I could. And it literally just looks like we moved. Wait, your sugar mama got those for you. Yes, sugar mama bought them for me. She, she hooked me up. <laughs> we are making dinner now. And uh, so I'm gonna show you guys what I'm having. Final meal is four ounces of chicken in there. Um, 100 grams of red beans. Boom. Um, 250 grams of rice. Two eggs over easy. I'm gonna add some lettuce on top for some crunch. And then for dessert, I'm having a Fit Crunch bar. Chocolate chip cookie dough. So my uh, <clears throat> my protein is a bit high and my carbs and fat are actually a little bit low, which is fine because this weekend I think uh, I went over a bit on my carbs and fat. Um, really, I wasn't tracking like really, really strict this weekend one of two reasons. One, I um, was eating things I didn't want to put in my fitness bell because I felt bad. <laughs> Just so I was kind of like a personal thing. And two, um, as you guys know, I am reverse dieting now. So, you know, being super, super strict on your on your macros isn't as important, but I know I was getting enough of what I needed. Um, so, that was my reasoning. Probably should have been spot on either way, but... Uh, so yeah, I'm a little uh, high on fat, low on carb, uh, high on protein, low on carbs and fat, uh, but I find that I'll probably even out a little bit. So I'm going to um, finish cooking this and we'll catch you guys in a second. Dinner is ready. Here is the finished product. There she is. So again, I have 250 grams of rice under there somewhere. Uh, two eggs over easy. Four ounces of chicken, lettuce, and a salsa on top. So here are my macros right here. If you guys can even see that. But it says 215 grams of protein, 279 carbs, and 95 fat for the day. Um, I usually shoot, I've been shooting for about 330 to 350 carbs and about 290, uh, 195 protein. So uh, again, it's a little bit low on the um, carbs high in the protein and gonna finish off with the fit crunch like I said before so uh, that's the end of this video I hope you guys enjoyed it I haven't decided if I'm just gonna do one 
like long video for like the entire weekend because we didn't really get too much footage for like the wedding and everything that we did this weekend so um if however you guys see it is however you guys will see it <laughs> so that's that hope you guys enjoyed it uh now after dinner we just got to get ready for the week it's nine nine o'clock right now and uh it's like a we got a short week four days this week which is nice so until next time until next time until next time <laughs> until next time after